Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is going to be about more leaks from the new DLC, the new Chop Shop DLC. Now, if you don't want to see any spoilers or any leaks, make sure you maybe skip this video because we have a few of them coming up. So first and foremost, if you remember the last leak video I did just yesterday, two days ago, talking about the clocking bell heist slash raid that we're doing. Uh, well, I said in that video that you have two options for this new upcoming heist. You have an aggressive approach, which is self-explanatory. You go in guns are blazing and you have the more silent silence and sneaky approach. And as we saw right here, the silence and sneaky approach, it would seem like you come in in one of the crates and then they pick you up, bring you on into the factory. But now we have an image or a video showing you exactly what it looks like coming out of that thing. So it's only seven seconds long, but as you can see, you're actually coming in and then there's just a little animation showing us actually climbing out of it. So all this is showing us is that it is happening. We assumed that we were going to be climbing out of this thing, but now we have this little image showing us or this video showing us that that's exactly what's happening. Also, this has been found as part of the Vincent missions, which obviously shows an animation of looting a washing machine from a money laundering location, which will be used in Vincent's heist as a source of like funding for the missions. Now, obviously it's not going to be in this location. This is just someone that's found the animation and uh, brought this to us, but hey, just FYI. Wonder how much money this is going to be. Anyway, you're probably thinking, well, that's not too exciting. Well, if you didn't know about the clucking well, clucking well, clucking bell heist. Go check out that video. I'll leave it linked in the description and at the end of this video. But the next bit of information comes to you in the sense of license plates. That is right. As you guys know, we have the new Sprunk license plate, which is green. We have the new E. Cola license plate, which is red. And those of you who have a keen eye may have noticed when you were doing your chop shop robberies that the cars actually had new license plates. The Hellfire had this purple panic one, which is kind of like the LA Lakers, I think. Don't shoot me. I don't know. And then we had the Ferrari, I believe, had this mountainous Las Venturas license plate. And then the little buggy, I forgot the name of it. Don't shoot me. Had the Liberty City license plate. And people were like, how do we get those? Well, you can have those license plates when, which is coming up soon. If you saw, I did a video on that explaining how you actually get to keep the car. Because as Yusuf said, you can either salvage it, you can sell it to him, or you can keep it. And everyone was like, why can't you keep it? Well, you can keep it. It's coming up. I made a video on it, but you will be to keep them and you'll be able to get these license plates with it. Now that was just three cars though that had those three different license plates. We have more cars coming. But as you can see right here, we have the Yankton license plate. We have the Las Venturas, which we've already seen. The Liberty City, which we've seen. We have a Los Santos car meet one. We have a Panic one. And we have the Pounders All-Stars one. These are all license plates that we're going to be seeing in the game probably in the next few weeks during Drip Feed. And I can only assume maybe just like the e cola one and the sprunk one that we'll be able to use them like when we're customizing our cars or maybe the ones on the left are the only ones we can use and the ones on the right are all going to be super limited and you're only going to get those from cars that you buy from robberies let me know what your guys thoughts and opinions are that in the comment section down below all right moving on and then last but not least of new information that we have got is the holidays are coming van that i like to call it the big coca-cola truck this is it in real life And if you live like in the UK or I think Canada has it too. I'm not sure why the US doesn't have it. My favorite commercial ever growing up. But that truck is coming to GTA Online. Let's take a little look at it. All right, we'll watch this here together. I'll leave the links to all of my sources in the comment section down below or in the description, I should say. But let's watch this thing together. This is coming up. This may even be next. I'm 99.999% sure this is coming on Thursday. So obviously he has the new car here. Uh, this is the Hellfire, the police Hellfire. I told you how to get this in the video a couple days ago. Uh, it's part of the DLC. But look, see the package is coming out the back of it? Can you hear it? Can you hear the music coming from the truck? The Coca-Cola truck? So you can see that one just dropped 9,450. So it's going to be dropping goodies. And this only spawns if there's two or more players in the lobby. Here it is. You hear the little jingle? And it'll be driving around the map. Like I say, it's only going to spawn with two or more people. And this is going to be in the game I, I would put money on on Thursday. But yeah, this vehicle, the Hellfire, I explain how you get this. You can't get it yet. Uh, but this is coming with the Clucking Bell uh, DLC that's going to be coming out during the drip feed. Um, is how we're going to get this Hellfire. It could be on Thursday. We don't know yet. I will let you guys know on Wednesday if we're getting this. 
It doesn't look like he's dropping anything this time. But like I say, there has to be two or more people in the lobby. Oh, there we go. The doors are open. What did he get this time? e cola festive sweater. Don't worry, I'll be showing you what this festive sweater looks like here in just a second. Because I do have some pictures of that. But if you don't want to be any spoilers, like I say... I mean, you're watching this video. You kind of already signed the waiver on the spoilers. I love it, though, man. I absolutely love it. The e cola festive sweater has been unlocked and added to your wardrobe. There is more stuff, though. This is like a... Well, we're going to keep watching it. We're going to see what bloody happens. Okay, here we go. Round three. Oh, that's it. Okay. So these are the new sweaters anyway. So the one that we just picked up, like I told you, the e cola is the one that you can see on your screen right here. It says, happy holidays with the truck on it saying e cola. Really like it. And then they also have the Sprunk one, as you can see right here. Uh, same, same thing. Happy holidays with Sprunk. So it's either red or green. But that is it for more leaks, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick one. Later on today, I am going to be live streaming this giveaway. We have the PlayStation 5 giveaway. It is coming to an end today. I'm posting this video early in the morning. Then I have a few things I got to take care of in the day. And then we'll be streaming at noon Pacific Standard Time, where we'll just be hanging out, having some fun, and then uh, doing the giveaway. So I hope to see you guys there, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.